Time for a fish room update. Stay tuned. Hey, this is Brian, and I'm coming at you with a fish room update for October 2018. Just down here in my basement fish room, and I thought I would uh, do an update. Uh, before I get started, I just wanted to remind everybody that uh, my website is now open, aquaticsupportsystems.com. You can go there uh, to purchase fish food, shrimp food, planted tank products, all that kind of good stuff. So um, it's the one one place um, that you can buy Southern Delight in bulk. So um, make sure you go check it out. But uh, let's get started with a tour. Oh, one other reminder real quick too. Um, if you're going to the Aquatic Experience this weekend, October 19th through the 21st, make sure you stop by the YouTube um, booth next to Flip Aquatics and say hi to me, I'll be there. Um, and I'll also be handing out uh, discount coupons for the website. So come by, say hi. It's going to be fun to meet people face to face finally. And uh, there's going to be a bunch of other cool YouTubers there too, um, over 30. So come check it out. All right, so we're just going to start this one with, uh, with uh, Flower Horn, the Comfa 9.9. .9. This is Colossus. Um, he is. Uh, doing as good as he can be, um, feisty as ever, and uh, yeah, just doing real well. Don't have a whole lot to say about him, um, but he is, uh, nuchal hump seems to be growing, the pattern on it is just really looking nice. Um, pattern throughout the entire body really looking good so not much else to say down below um, the uh, the one Midas that I've got he's doing well he he's been pretty rough on his female lately um, kind of a deal where I had to divide them then I undivided them they went into spawning mode right away and uh, something happened after I did a water change I'm not sure if they had laid eggs and I didn't notice or what but he started beating on her again now he's just to the point where he's not bothering her but she's got a lot of healing to do so keeping an eye on that this is one surviving fry from them from about a year ago that's getting to be about i don't know three inches or so so that's pretty cool but he's doing great um hopefully his female heals up soon and we can uh, get them spawning again and living together in perfect harmony if you will the other flower horn up here, the red magma, he's doing good also. His colors are looking really nice right now. Um, not a whole lot to say about him either, other than he's just been kind of a fun wet pet, just like uh, the other flower horn. Just enjoy having them down in the fish room. Um, they always seem to catch everybody's eye when people do come to visit, so, so that's pretty cool. Speaking of visitors, too, make sure you go check out um, Schwiski's YouTube channel. You may, have, you may have seen it, but I'll try to remember to link it at the end of this video or something. But he did a really cool YouTube video that's gotten a heck of a lot of views um, on my channel or on my fish room when him and uh, Corvus Oskin and Corey from Aquarium Co-op came and visited a month or so ago. Um, make sure you go check out his channel. Actually, check out all their channels, you know, of course. Corvus Oskin, Corey from Aquarium Co-op, and then Schwiski. Um, but he did a video that's really, really kind of cool. Um, you know, he's quite a videographer and photographer and knows how to edit really well. So he uh, did some really nice work on some of these bigger fish that I keep. So go check that out. Then down here are the motas. They're getting along great. They haven't spawned at all yet. He hurt himself. Um, I'm not sure if he hit the uh, one of these tubes or hit the glass tops going for food or what but he's got a wound right in the middle of his eyes that's uh it's starting to heal up but i'm just really hoping it doesn't turn into hole in the head or something like that but they're tolerating each other hanging out a lot but um she's just not quite ready to spawn yet so we're just uh, continuing to monitor this situation we'll head on over here now check out the fest day she is looking marvelous so is he um, we still got the eight silver dollars in there 
I've turned heaters on, back on in the fish room now since summer's over, and I'm starting to see the with several fish, but I'm noticing that these guys are kind of showing spawning behavior or pre-spawning. So I'm hoping that maybe we'll get them to breed at some point. It'd be really nice. Um, but if they don't, they're still just a great pair to have. I mean, you can't beat her colors. His colors too, really. So the Feste are doing good overall. The Trimac Grow Out Tank. I may start selling these off because I have since acquired another Trimac pair that are related to these, but they're already paired off and they're doing good in a separate tank. I'll show you them in a little bit. So I may consider selling these. I'm not quite sure yet, so keep your eyes open if you're looking for a Trimax. I may have some for sale. Um, Hadeensis are doing real well. This guy's just continuing to impress as he grows and his colors and patterns look great. She's looking well too. There's a handful of fry in here that I wasn't able to get out, but uh, yeah, I'm, I couldn't be happier with this pair. He's a little spooked out right now for some reason. They're usually a lot more active. But yeah, there's one of the fry. Pretty good size. I've got fry from this pair available too at about a half inch size. I actually just shipped some out today. And uh, I've got at least 30 more. So if you're looking for Hadeensis fry, hit me up. Um, this pair here, my uh, red uh, Isletus, you can see her tube is down and they're ready to spawn. They're, the red redness in their faces and heads are really starting to come out like they do when they're ready to spawn. Again, heater turned on and you're seeing new activity um, from them as far as uh, I didn't have the heaters on all summer long and there just wasn't much spawning activity going on. So I'm expecting them to spawn soon. When they do spawn though, it, you never know if you're going to get fry because a lot of times they eat them. But uh, look at this beast. I mean, he's just, this fish is crazy. She's going nuts in this tube too. So anyway, Magnus and Beast. Um, Magnus, he's, he's doing fine. Getting to be an old grumpy man. He's picking on Beast a lot. She's pretty nipped up right now. Same story, different video though. I'm always telling you that. Um, earlier today, actually, I came down here and she was like really golden and blonde, which kind of seemed weird. Um, but again, the heaters are on now, so maybe she's getting a little bit frisky. I don't know. I don't want them to breed. Um, not, per se it would be cool if they did but he's just so rough on her um and she's already got permanent eye damage on this eye from before i got her um so yeah i don't know what 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 much else to say about that but he's doing good overall nice big uh, beast and then this is his son optimus and his female artemis they're doing good. Got a lot of glare there, but um, they're they're showing definitely showing some pre-spawn behavior. They've been doing a lot of head shaking and tail flapping lately, so we'll uh, we'll be expecting a spawn out of them real soon. Her color's changing, kind of going from the darker color to the more lighter blonde, as I like to call it. But uh, this guy is quite a stunner, that's for sure. And then down below, we've got the, I'm just calling it the junk tank. We've got the big silver arowana. We've got this awesome moda in here from Sean Hyden. And when I say junk, it's not because the fish are junky. It's just kind of a mix of various leftover stuff that didn't have another place. Got a bunch of clown loaches. Um, and then this female Midas, which I may put in with Cheeto. 
and remove his female. You can see her tubes down. She's laid eggs by herself before and it looks like she's about to do so again. This is the Trimac pair I mentioned earlier. The male's smaller than three of those males that I have in the other tank, but they've spawned with the previous owners. These came from the Randalls and uh, they have better coloration, probably because they're paired up. But I'm expecting them to spawn pretty soon. I've just got them in the 75 gallon now. I may put them in that 180 and just get rid of all the Trimax that are in there. And let that be their permanent home. But for now, they're doing just fine here. Pretty nice looking pair. Looking forward to seeing their first spawn. I've got some Midas grow outs from the one I showed you earlier in this video, not Cheeto. They're available for sale. Um, some Hadiensis, which are in this tank, and then again down here, there's a bunch, bunch of them. Got a few Trimax left, and that's really it for fry now. If you are looking to buy any fry from me, um, you can go to the Aquatic Support Systems website, and then in the contact section, my email will be listed, and you can just email me. Or if you're friends with me on Facebook or whatever, hit me up there, too. Um, we'll head upstairs and take a look at Cheeto, and that'll end the video then. Alright, so we're up in my office and we're having a look at Cheeto. Um, him and his uh, lady are still doing good. No, absolutely no spawning activity whatsoever. So I think I may take that female from down in the basement that likes to lay eggs by herself and see what happens if I match her up with Cheeto. But he's just doing as good as ever and really a fun fish to uh, watch, of course. Give you a quick look too at this uh, 90 gallon back here. Um, I've finally gotten things under control with the blackbeard algae. I don't know if you guys remember, but I um, had a big problem with that in here. And I actually had to tear out the entire Monte Carlo carpet. I've got a bunch of chunks of Monte Carlo in there now that I'm gonna grow out. But this tank will bounce back and look pretty nice um, once, once some time and patience and a little bit more work uh, gets done on it so but yeah that's really all I've got for right now again um, if you're going to the aquatic experience in New Jersey next weekend make sure you come to the YouTube booth or fish tube booth as they're calling it it's connected to flip aquatics booth come say hi to me and all the other youtubers there I'd love to meet you and be fun it's always fun to meet somebody in person that you've talked to or watch their videos um, over the web and if you're looking to buy any fish food, shrimp food, planted tank products, go to my website, aquaticsupportsystems.com. Um, for the month of October, 20% off of all of the Thrive fertilizers that I sell on there and a couple of other products as well related to that. So I want to thank everybody for watching, and until next time, stay tuned.